It looks like it is going to be a fantastic evening, even though, well, I got to go to work. Yeah, if only I were independently wealthy. Just drive around testing chargers for my car, or just hanging out at the beach or the theme parks, or just enjoying the sunset with the cows. Where was I going with this? I don't remember. Oh yeah, if I was only independently wealthy. Would you look at that line of trucks? I am behind. Getting unloaded in my first spot this morning. I have a feeling it's gonna take a while. I almost broke my ankle. I almost broke my ankle. That is the one thing I worry about as I start to get older. I mean, I'm pretty much 60 years old and I ride skateboards and, and I do s silly things, you know, go on hikes, go swimming a lot, go to the beach a lot. How many more years can I do that? How many more years can I ride a skateboard? Is 60 years old too old to be doing things like that? All it takes is one little twist off of a piece of sidewalk and I could just picture my legs snapping like a shell of an egg. I'm getting worried. I'm getting worried. Oh, you're not going to do it again? Yeah. Oh, I was excited. It's like a one gallon bucket of water, right? Yeah, ice water. Ice water? Yes, sir. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you're walking away so lucky. As I travel throughout the entire state, I just never know where I'm going to be at any given time. I could be in North Florida, I could be up in Georgia, I could be in Miami, or I could be right here at home. Not knowing where you're going to be at any specific time is, it gets kind of confusing. It's hard to keep track of your life. Well, I just got some pretty cool news regarding one of these amazing things. Not this specific brand from Long Good, but from a different brand in Canada. You know what? I left my Sony at home. Let's let's give this Idle Cam, which uh, in a weird way kind of relates to this. Let, let's let's fire this up. Well, that failed miserably trying to use that camera. I remember why I don't use it too often. Sometimes you get things and they just don't work. Another thing these two things have in common. I'm not saying that this thing isn't going to work. I did write Long Good Tech and my contact over there, Leslie, did email me a new firmware update. So I'm going to go ahead and go install this real fast before going to bed. I've been up a long time. It's time to go to sleep. But I'm gonna do that and uh, do some testing throughout the week. I am taking Wednesday and Thursday off to go around and test chargers, not for this device, but for the Canadian version. Uh, a, a gentleman is flying in, I believe he's coming in from Finland. He's gonna head down towards Miami first and meet up with someone, and he's coming up here, and I'm gonna run him around all the chargers in Central Florida area and see if we can't get the Canadian one working here in the United States on the chargers that we have. So I'm gonna be, we're gonna be doing that. Hopefully they'll let me shoot videos of the testing as I'm driving them around and we're testing that new unit out. And at the same time, when he's done testing the Canadian unit, I'm gonna be doing this, this one. Th that's the one thing I'm, I'm, I'm finding out about the Canadian version is they're sending an engineer all over the globe to make sure theirs works. They're sent, you know, they sent him to Canada or, or he's probably from Canada, I'm assuming. But then they sent him to Europe and he hits all the little countries in Europe. And now he's coming here to the United States and I'm fortunate enough to be one of the people he's gonna be going out and testing with. That is what Long Good should be doing. Instead of relying on us to get the data for him by plugging this in, and getting the information, then emailing it to them, hoping that they're gonna be able to come up with a firmware that's eventually gonna work. They need to do the same thing. They need, they need to fly over an engineer to here because they already got it pretty, they got this pretty much working in Europe now. 
they need to send an engineer over here and do our, our charging stations too because it just takes a little bit too long to get out there for us. I mean, because we have jobs, we have things to do, and we can't always test. It's not always on. <coughs> Excuse me. You show up at a charger at three o'clock in the afternoon, there's six cars waiting to charge, and you're pulling your laptop out, putting it on the hood of your car, hooking this thing up to it. Everybody in the other cars are watching. What in the heck's he doing hooking a computer up to the charger? So you try and find the right times to do the testing. It's really hard for us. It, and I think it would be better if they invested a little bit and sent the engineers to get the information for us. You know, they, they, And plus, they know exactly what they're doing. I get something like this. I expected it to work. It doesn't work. You know, and I'm, I mean, it doesn't yet. It probably will one day, but I don't want to wait one day. I want it to start working now. And, and because I, I'm not an engineer, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm plugging a cable in, plugging into my computer, hoping I'm going to get some data and that, and what does come off of it, send it to them. I, and I have to send it like three different ways, email, text message, and through Alibaba, because I'm not sure which one they're getting it. It was never made clear. I'm not saying that they're not a good company and they don't communicate. They do, for the most part. They haven't communicated in a while. It's been about three or four weeks. That's why I fired off an email today asking, hey, you guys by chance wouldn't have a, uh, happen to have a firmware update, would you? And by chance they did. They should have just sent it to me when they had it, but they didn't. So I had to ask for it, um, which makes me a little bit worried, but a little bit excited to get this engineer from you know from Canada coming over from Finland over here because he just I think he finished in Finland coming over here now I have kind of mixed feelings about it I know we need these chargers to start working but this guy has been traveling all over the world getting their unit to work he's been seeing the infrastructure in all the European country everywhere else you know it's really sad that I'm embarrassed. I'm, I, I was talking to my girlfriend about it today. I'm, I'm embarrassed to drive him around to the chargers we have in the state of Florida. And I'm assuming the rest of the United States, other than probably California or something, but pretty much the rest of the United States is you have to find your charging stations behind a hotel or in a strip mall parking lot. And there might be two out there. One is totally broken. The other one has a hose ripped off and you might have one hose you know it's just like our infrastructure is so bad here in the united states and having someone come from the rest of the globe that is so far ahead of us i mean i met the guy from venfast uh here in wildwood florida he was driving around the united states and i was asking him on one of my videos a while back what's the charging situation like in vietnam and he said it was I mean, he didn't really speak English, but he, he said it was great. And, you know, that's that's what I got from it. He said it, it's so much better than here. <clears throat> he did he did get that out because I had Google Translates. It's better than here. So if Vietnam can do it, why can't we? I, I, I don't understand it. And when people do come here to the United States, rent an EV or people that work in the industry that are trying to make the, the situation better for us, you know, after traveling around the world, and then they come here and they go, what, what's going on? You have one pump for 500 cars, you know, and half the time it doesn't even work, like the one here in town in Wildwood. I bet we get more than 500 cars. We have two chargers, one's been broke since Christmas. Two days ago, the other one broke. We're, we don't have no chargers for about a 20, about 20, 25 miles. We have nothing. Our infrastructure sucks. And I'm really hoping when I'm taking them around on the 13th and 14th of June here, that the chargers I take him to are up and running. I, I, I hate apologizing for my country. But what else are you going to do, man? What, do you, what are you going to do? I lived in a messed up state in a country that's fighting technology that the whole world is already passing us by with. They already all have it. They're all doing great. 
and I, I feel I, I I don't you know I'm I feel like an ambassador I'm picking somebody up from a foreign land Canada that's in North America too it's a, Canadians are American um, but I'm sure Canada's a lot better I don't know I'm freaking out man I'm freaking out but we'll get that one working hopefully that one works and then hopefully in the meantime Long Good gets some firmware for this thing so I can get it working. I am going to go install this new firmware right now and I'll get out there and test this this coming week along with the Canadian one. Hope you guys tune in and uh, follow the adventures as I'm driving this guy around, Patrick, and um, see how the charging situation is with the Canadian adapter. I have high hopes. I have high hopes. Though I had high hopes with this one too. Peace out, everybody.